Hey, what's up, you guys? This is Ashley, and this is your weekly Patreon pick. Remember that you can pair this with your free monthly reading, and weekly, you can gain additional insight. So let's jump into what's going on in the Astros. On February 16th, Mars, the planet of motivation, moves into Capricorn. So whatever you are working on, you are prompted to keep working at it. Keep plowing, keep planting those seeds, keep it building the foundation because it will pay off in the long run. Remember all of the activity that is happening with Pluto, Pluto, Saturn, and the Capricorn and the South Node. So, you know, we're reshaping and remolding our lives to build a new foundation. Remember that. On the same day, or either on February 17th, depending on where you're located, that Mercury will go retrograde in Pisces. This is the rebirth of intuition. The sun moves into Pisces on the 18th or either the 19th. And by the 23rd, the new moon in Pisces will kick off. And so remember, we're going to get into that general reading then. So let's see what's going on here. For my little animal deck here we have the goat and that was the first card that came out which i found to be very auspicious because we are dealing with a lot of the capricorn type of energy but with that mars and that motivation that we are prompted to move forward to keep looking forward and i like the way that how he is looking that um, goat is looking over here to this fairy so this is fay fairy and fay fairy is um for for me that she represents the shaman. She represents the intuitive aspects of an individual. Here you have the fire and you see how she's holding the fire, like the Holy Spirit, the Christos energy. That is the intuition, the into herself, into yourself type of energy going within yourself. So this could be one that is prompted to go into the hermit phase to bring something else out the rebirth of intuition. So that could be that Pisces type of energy that's coming through here and I also found that it's very funny that we have the eight of pentacles that came out and I was prompted to lay it right here with that Capricorn so the eight of pentacles of course is an earth energy but this is talking about building something prompted to Of course, it's an earth energy, but not just because it's an earth energy, but you're building something. The Eight of Pentacles deals with diligence. It deals with putting in that hard work and laying the foreground. I like the fact that there's four pentacles on each side of the web. So this is talking about both the um, energies within ourselves being paired and being matched. This is talking about as well with someone with a relationship that the energy that they put into the relationship is what they're going to get out. But that energy that they put in will be reciprocated by the other party this is talking about the logical mind so we have books over here the book fairy and then we have the intuition or the shaman and how both sides are being activated now um give me a second let me see here so i did do this reading before and i was using my other phone and it came out differently but let's see what's going to happen here but it's almost the similar like very similar here we have sensitivity and then we have here the healer so someone could be prompted to go into some type of energy work and they could be a healer so we have the healing aspects here someone could be um actual they, they call it Reiki, um, like a Reiki master, but it's, it's more like someone that's more like a new age. I mean, although it's like an ancient practice, but that whole thing, you know how they go through the movements, they take something that's old and mystic, esoteric, and they bring it to the forefront, make it very popular, and then they move on to the next thing. So this is talking about a person that could be from a, a church setting, that someone could be a coming from a Christian background if you will or even muslim you have here the books and that represents like going by the code i specifically hear code of conduct and how this person they have like the gift of healing but that healing first has to happen within themselves that's one thing so that sensitivity over here with the books uh, they could be prompted to study something differently and they will have great success with that but i really feel like for an individual that they are 
from some type of religious mindset or religious practice. And it's specifically a practice because you have here the books and the practice of studying and through their set studies within this religion that they have been uh, learning something completely new. You have here the spider web also deals with esoteric energy, feminine energy, but it also deals with learning something new. You see the pattern, um, it's like the pattern has changed a little bit. This also looks like, like the brain or like the mind. You have the penile gland that's being activated. Let's see what else is on the board. That Kundalini, and then we have another book here. The activations that are coming through. Like with those three stages of the Capricorn, before spiraling up through the unicorn at the at the very point that goes into Cancer. So you have the North Node, Capricorn. Uh, I'm sorry, excuse me, the South Node, Capricorn, North Node, Cancer. And this is all dealing with one whole constellation, if you will. And what happens is like the three stages of the Capricorn and you have like um, the crocodile type of stage, like are uh, like take advantage of the opportunity can be a little narcissistic. And then you have the second stage was the mountain goat, which is climbing up a mountain ascending. And then you have the third stage, which is the unicorn. And that unicorn um, is at the top of that constellation before it turns into cancer. And that is evolution. That's why you have the sixth and the nine there. And what's happening is like this person is through their religion. This is for one person through their religion that they're learning a new way of how to heal and how to bring healing to the collective. But it's also to something like a little different. Um, they're, they're like illuminating, like when they read the Bible or they read their Quran, it's something like that. Uh, it's like the word to jump out at them, almost like a snake, like, and it hits their, um, their penile gland and they see things completely different. They're very sensitive because the Holy Spirit is really speaking to them more of the Christos energy or, you know, whatever they would necessarily call it. Overall for the collective, especially here on the Patreon, that they're learning a new way or we all are learning a new way of how to operate. Like those, um, I hear those branches are being laid a certain way. Uh, someone could be working with runes. Uh, yeah, someone could be working with runes. Give me a second. Yeah, someone is working with runes. Um, they're also starting to get into uh, hieroglyphic, hieroglyphics or something. It's something dealing with like uh, like the way how they write. They're learning something new. They're studying some type of new history, I even hear. Someone could be a historian or a history buff, and they're learning new history. This could be esoteric or mystic history, ancient schools of knowledge for someone and we have like uh, the fox I heard third de third degree someone someone could be studying martial arts especially with the snake um, I hear a cocoon when I touch this the snake the cocoon or they're bringing out some type of inner warrior within them uh, that fox that third degree someone is definitely a Freemason I hear um, someone is as well, something to deal with like karate or martial arts. Let's see what else that Fox is, is talking about in, in conjunction with the snake and the sun is something that is hidden within the recesses of someone's like almost at the base of their spine and it's coming out. They can't hide it anymore. It, it like, it's like someone trying to hide the sun chemtrails <laughs> but no um but like trying to hide the sun you can't really hide the sun you know it's going to poke through even if it's just the radiation that comes off of the sun the photons it's still going to peep through here someone could be trying to impress a, a woman or uh, impress somebody i hear a recommendation up for a job a co-worker and we have a sacred heart of christ so for someone, they're trying to impress a female energy. They hear the spider and a female energy. And they're really trying to show off for her in some type of way and win her affection. For another individual, they are trying to, they're up for a promotion or they want to go up for a promotion. And they are trying to do all that they can do to win 
the when the job title and when the, the affections of the boss or whoever's in charge whoever's writing I hear writing the notes okay give me a second you know I'm not gonna make this too many um, because I heard it's too many questions like someone may be confused or something oopsie <laughs> Okay, maybe just a, a little too many cards, but we do have infinite abundance. That's right. Study goes with that. And that remember that reading I was telling you about, I did this before. And it had another um, another card dealing with books that came over here. It, it had school. That's what it was. It had books on there. And it was school, like someone studying. You know how I'm right here. I did a decoding on owls. And you can check that in the symbology playlist, decoding and symbology playlist. And here we have goddess Athena. Yes. And this is all of this right here speaks to the initiate, the second phase of initiation. I'm about to post a video dealing with the hermit card. And this all seems like that hermit card and that virgin type of energy. So that virgin is someone that is sanctified and set apart. That's what's going on. And they're starting to activate different parts of their voice because they have something to say. And it's going to lead to great outcomes. Yeah. So, yeah, there we go. That's the weekly reading over here. Once again, don't forget to pair it with your free monthly reading, etc. If you're watching this the following week over on YouTube, make sure you hit the thumbs up. Doot, doot, doot. And if you're interested in joining the Patreon family with free monthly readings, we have challenges over there, such as this week is the third week of the Wealth Building Challenge. And we're going to get into self-love challenge and all of that stuff like that. But if you're interested, the link is down below. Personal services is also listed down below. And I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.